I wouldn't personally get the E-Rev version of this car, but damn, damn, this thing is a good option. It's seriously impressive. And I keep on saying this over and over. If you don't necessarily need a car tomorrow, I think if you're going to get a plug-in hybrid, maybe wait, maybe wait a little bit because E-Revs have often much better technology, much more efficient and far more EV only range. I mean, the difference is actually quite staggering. For example, the DC charging of most plug-in hybrids today is somewhere between 30 to 50 kilowatt DC. Not all of them, but most. E-revs, well, many of them are actually 500 kilowatt. That's quite a difference. EV only range, that's a similar story. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. If you'd like to become a YouTube member, that'd be awesome and really help support the channel. I'll put a link in the description below. And also, if you know someone who might benefit from the information in this video, please share it with them. That really helps the algorithms. Xpeng just revealed details of its G7 eRev. There's going to be a G6 eRev as well, plus a P7 Plus eRev. But today, this video is about the X9 eRev. Now, as you can see, for some weird reason, Xpeng have put some camouflage on an X9, which is actually an eRev with 450 kilometers of EV only range. That's CLTC. So if you're looking at WLTP range, probably about 350 kilometers. I mean, that's a lot, right? I'd say for the average person, 99% of the trips you're going to do, you're not going to need to use the small generator motor. Um, what else do we know about it? Well, we know it runs. It's basically an X9. I mean, that's the cool thing about a car like this, right? It's an X9, has an 800 volt high voltage platform, 5C charging. It can charge it between 450 to 500 kilowatts, somewhere around there. I mean, just the kind of charging speed you don't see on plug-in hybrids. And in fact, the kind of charging speed you don't even see on many electric cars yet in many countries around the world. Combined range is 1,600 kilometers when fully fueled and fully charged. That's according to Xpeng. That's probably going to work out to more like 1,300 kilometers WLTP. Still a lot of range. So if you can hold your bladder for that long, I'd be pretty shocked. But, you know, it's, I guess, something matters to people get, getting a lot of range. And that's why I think, actually, I think um, these pickup trucks we're seeing that are plug-in hybrids, I think they'd be better off being E-Revs because then you're going to get more EV only range and more range in total. Plus the efficiency is actually quite a bit better. Now the CEO of Xpeng said that they have invested over 1000 test vehicles for the X9 eRev in cumulative testing spanning 800 days, covering 20 countries and 330 cities. The X9 has accumulated more than 20 million kilometers of testing enduring extreme conditions, including sub-zero temperatures, high heat, and higher altitude environments. Now, interestingly, it's slightly longer, but only by a minuscule amount than the X9 EV. It could just be a, a change in bumpers, I'd say, probably likely. It's the same width, uh, it's the same height, but it is actually 5,316 millimeters long, which is about 23 millimeters longer, or one inch. It's one inch longer than the EV version of the X9, which by the way, has about 600 kilometers of WLTP range itself. It comes with a 1.5 liter engine from Harbin Dongan auto engine serving as the range extender. The engine is not very powerful, which makes a lot of sense because it doesn't actually drive the motors. It, I mean, it doesn't actually drive the wheels. It's only 110 kilowatt. So it's at about 140 horsepower. But it, all it does is charge the battery. So when the battery runs out of energy, that motor will, that little, that little generator motor will kick in and it will start to recharge the battery. 
or at least you know when you get close to running out anyway depending on what, how you set the settings you can set you can you can have different options different settings you can have max battery life range you can have combination range it really depends on what you want to do it uses lithium ion phosphate batteries exactly the same batteries as what you get in the x9 uh, the ev version the batteries are from calb so the battery is interestingly it's 63.3 kilowatt hour battery in other words the it's just a bit more than half the size of the battery in the X9 EV. So 63.3 kilowatt hour battery, pretty good size, right? I mean, if you look at some plug-in hybrids, they might have 20 to 20 to 40 kilowatt hour batteries, but um, I think some of the EVs you're gonna get a bigger battery and therefore quite a lot more EV on the range. And they're actually more efficient as well. So as I said earlier, the difference between a plug-in hybrid and an EV, well, essentially really is that the motor acts as a power generator sending power to a battery and then of course the battery then powers the electric motors just the same as an ev and as a result in most testing that i've seen e-revs are quite a lot more efficient than plug-in hybrids in terms of combined fuel consumption now actually i've got to correct the charging speed i provided you with it wasn't correct it's actually 316.5 kilowatt dc charging so not 500, but um, still very, very fast charging. So you should be able to charge that battery pack in approximately 16 minutes from you know 10 to 80%. But the thing is here, with a lithium ion phosphate battery, you can charge to 100% and there's no issues. You can do that regularly. So that's one of the advantages, I think, of having lithium ion phosphate batteries in an e-rev probably does make a lot of sense so guys what are your thoughts on this i mean do you think e-revs are a viable technology i personally actually don't think that the future of the automotive industry um, i think that we're going to be fully electric maybe in 10 years from now i think these are just sort of um technologies that are it sort of sound good right now and fill a fill a really do fill a void today for in some sectors like pickup trucks for example and um you know motorhomes towing big towing caravans but i think in the future i don't think they'll be necessary but what do you guys think let me know in the comments thanks for watching this car looks pretty amazing i mean if you want to drive a very long way and not charge this is going to be a really good choice 1400 kilometers of range 430 kilometers of ev only range 500 kilowatt fast charging. I mean, if you just don't want an EV, if you need something with more than 600, 700 miles of range, then this is it. And this thing, I'm, I'm just shocked by how good this is actually going to be. Guys, I just spoke to an executive, in fact, the executive in charge of Xpeng's drivetrains.